Listen to what Zay Flowers said right here. Where should fantasy football owners draft you this year? How high? I know they're gonna be the, they gonna go get the the vets. They're gonna get all them. But as soon as they done getting the vets, they better come get me. Mm. Cause you're gonna do numbers every day, every game. How should we see Zay Flowers in this offense with the Baltimore? They're gonna move you around. You got Odell Beckham. You know, man, you got some nice newly wide receivers. Rashad Bateman has come off an injury. Yep. Are they gonna move you around a little bit? You gonna be uh, everywhere? Yeah, we all gonna move around. Slot, all of us gonna play slot outside. Uh -huh. X, we all gonna move around and. Cause we all can win by ourselves, so it's not really a limit to our receiver room. And that right there can make Ravens' offense unstoppable. Seriously, think about it. L listen to what he said. And we know this was something that was mentioned by Ravens' coaching staff before. The different receivers, they will be moving them around everywhere. And think about it. That, that, that makes it unpredictable. You don't realize what's coming. You won't know what's coming because you can expect one thing. Like, think about it. When we think about the Ravens' offense right now, when we think about their passing game right now, what do we expect? All right, Odell Beckham Jr., outside receiver. Rashad Bateman, outside receiver. Zay Flowers in the slot. Mark Andrews, tight end. Lamar Jackson, quarterback, obviously. And J.K. Dobbins in the backfield with him. All right, cool. And, and that will be some of the formations and whatnot. But then what Zay Flowers talked about, oh, we're going to move around. We all can play slot. We all can play outside. So you may have Odell Beckham Jr. in the slot. You may have Rashad Bateman in the slot. You'll have Zay Flowers on the outside. Like They can mix and match stuff beautifully because all the receivers complement each other. But the thing that really, really stuck out was Zay Flowers said was right at the end. He said because we can all win our one-on-ones. We can all win. And you know just how dangerous that is? If that holds true for the Baltimore Ravens and their wide receivers, they can all win their one-on-one -on -one matchups because think you, you can't double everybody. You can't. Because you, you think about, all right, Mark Andrews, we know that's Lamar Jackson's guy. He's going to try to get him the ball in any situation because we've seen it before. If Mark Andrews one-on-one, -on -one, Lamar going to throw it to him. Mark Andrews one-on-two, -on -two, Lamar going to throw it to him. Lamar, Mark Andrews one-on-seven, Lamar going to throw it to him because he has the ultimate trust for Mark Andrews. And we've done seen Mark Andrews make plays in all of those situations before. So teams may think, all right, let's double Mark Andrews. Okay, cool. What about Zay? All right, let's double Zay too. Okay, cool. What about Odell? Oh, let's double him. To, okay, cool. What about Bate? And then a, you still got Nelson Aguilar. You still got Devin Duvernay. You still got Isaiah Light. You still got Charlie Cole. You still got J.K. Dobbins. You still got Gus L. You still got Justice Hill. You still got Lamar Jackson. So this Ravens offense has so much potential to be unstoppable. Everything that Eric DaCosta talked about when he first became Ravens GM, well, five, six, five years ago, when he first became Ravens GM, what he said, it can finally, finally happen. Even though in 2019, it pretty much happened, well, except for the playoffs, but it can finally happen. And he said he wanted to make an indefensible offense. This can be it. This can really, really be it. Ravens have so much opportunity right in front of them. And it is so important that they take full advantage of it. You know Todd Munkin, their new offensive coordinator, could there be some growing pains? Yeah, there could be. I don't expect it to be, oh, man, Ravens are barely getting bound offense. Oh, they just can't get it together. I don't expect that for too long, even in the first game. Hey, they might have some, some rough drives here and there, but – I don't expect it to be like, oh, man, they just can't get it together. No, uh-uh. These are all professionals. They all done been here, done that from the top to the bottom. And that's, that's another thing, too, about this offense that makes it extra special is the experience. Because we know Lamar Jackson. All right, cool. We know him. But then you add Odell Beckham Jr. to what the Ravens have already. Odell Beckham Jr., he knows what it takes to – win individually like get his own accolades but he knows what it takes to win collectively as a team as well because he has super bowl winning experience not just playing in the super bowl but he has super bowl winning experience nelson Aguilar, who a lot of us when ravens first signed him we were like oh okay but hey he's been coming on strong ever since 
but he also has not only Super Bowl participation experience, but Super Bowl winning experience. So he's right there too. And then, again, everything that we've seen from Zay Flowers thus far has been amazing. It started in mini camp. It went to training camp. It went to joint practices. It went to preseason. And now it's like, all right, Zay Flowers. People's expectations for Zay Flowers, they were already up here. Before training camp, before all that stuff But after training camp and after the, 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 the joint practices and preseason They went even higher They went even higher And, and of course I know y'all heard so many people talk about Oh, Zay Flowers could potentially be the rookie of the year And I wouldn't be mad if he got that at all I don't think any of us would be mad if he got that at all But of course Ravens got bigger and better expectations But if he gets it along the way Hey, no, no problems, they do your thing and then there's Rashad Bateman, first round pick a couple of years ago, first round pick from Minnesota. And Rashad Bateman, all he got to do, all Rashad Bateman got to do, in my opinion, stay on the field. He'll be good to. That's it. That's it. He ain't got to do nothing. All he got to do is stay on the field, and I can almost guarantee Rashad Bateman will be able to show the world who he can be. And then for a depth guy, like a depth depth guy, to be a Devin Duvernay, what? Like that that again, somebody who can be a number two receiver, who was a number two receiver for some time last year, but for him to be a depth guy, that says a lot about everything that's in front of him. I, I I've seen some people say that um oh Ravens receiving unit they they not much different than what they've been in past years, and I'm like what? What? Now, y'all know me. I could be very critical of how the Ravens attacked the wide receiver position because the way that they have attacked the wide receiver position in years past, they ain't really attack it. They took a little mm, swings like that. But now this year, they went swinging, punching, and uppercutting and all that stuff. Eric DaCosta, like, really changed everything. And what made me appreciate about it so much was that in years past, I didn't really like how they attacked the position too much. They had some, some hits here and there, but I didn't really like the way they went about it too much. I feel like they restricted themselves. So going into this offseason, I'm like, all right, Lamar Jackson got paid. Oh, okay. If they attacked the receiver position when Lamar Jackson wasn't paid like they had been, oh, it's going to be much worse when he actually gets paid. Oh, boy, here we go. But they proved me all the way wrong. All the way wrong. And they've been attacking it in so many different ways. What I thought was going to happen, I was like, when they signed Nelson Aguilar, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that's going to be it. That's going to be the, the, the big wide receiver move. But Ravens was like, no, 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 hold up. Oh, they're Beckham Jr. too. No, 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 hold up. Uh, we're, we're drafting or receiving the first round too, Zay Flowers. And when they drafted him, I'm like, oh, I said, oh, man. Well, I guess uh, this could be the end of Rashad Bateman. Um, especially after he tweeted out what he tweeted out about the Ravens and EDC and the, not to, all that stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, and he, they, they, yeah, they're probably going to trade him this year. They ain't going to keep all them receivers. I would love for them to, but they ain't going to keep all them receivers. Where are we now? They kept all them receivers and still added more. Still added more. So the way the, the Ravens, and then again, we just talking receivers. We still got tight ends too. You got one of the best tight ends in the league in Mark and one of the best. Isaiah Likely, he, hey, second year. This could be a much better year for him than last year was because he'll know more. He got more experience. He'll understand the game more. Because I felt like with Isaiah Likely, he did show some flashes last year, obviously more so in preseason, but he showed some flashes last year. And I just felt like with, with, there were some times where he felt, like, it seemed like he was a little out of place. And whatnot, he didn't know exactly where to be But again, he was a rookie, so okay, cool, no problem But then at the same time It felt like the offense didn't know how to use him and Mark Andrews When they were both on the field and they were both healthy When one of them was out Obviously Mark Andrews, when he played, they know how to use him But when Mark Andrews was out And Isaiah Likely was out there They used him good, it was like, oh, okay But when they were both, it was, it's the weirdest thing It was like, alright, the more weapons we got uh, I don't know what to do So hopefully with Todd Munkin Hopefully with Todd Monken, not only with Isaiah Likely, but just really with everybody. With the plethora of weapons he has, the Ravens can really get this thing done. They got all the opportunity in the world in front of them, but it's up to them to make it happen. Team Keep It Clean, let's hope that this year, starting week one, we get to see an offense that is truly unstoppable.